What is up gamers? This is Proto and it's a new month. So once again, I've got some new games for you guys to take a look and check out. See something may catch your eye. So with the summer now starting up, we're going to see a few more AAA games dropping, a bunch of new indie games and just a lot for us to do. So let's not waste any more time and let's look at the new games coming out in June. At number 10, we have Necromanda Hired Gun. Set in the Warhammer 40k universe, you play as a bounty hunter completing jobs on one of the most infamous hive cities in the Empire. Now you'll be able to augment your body to help you get around along with a loyal dog to help you track down your targets and probably kill some of them at the same time. Now fast gunplay is this game with graphics looking very smooth and the gameplay tight it, it most definitely gives me vibes of doom. I love how the gameplay of this is. I love the fast action pace. Like I said, it definitely gives me Doom vibes on it. And I'm looking forward to doing a review on this game. So, Necromonda Higher Gun is set to release June 1st. At number 9, we have Guilty Gear Strive. The latest entry in the conclusion to a 20 year story is coming to us for Guilty Gear fans. Now this is an interesting series because this is a 2D slash 3D hybrid. So it has 2D and 3D animations at the same time. And it's had a dedicated fan base that's kept this series going for a long time. Now if you know anything about Guilty Gear, you know, like I said, it has a dedicated fan base. It may not be up there with Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, but it definitely has its own following it has its own dedicated people that have been playing these games for years now this one brings a few new mechanics to it along with some new characters to change things up but still making it easy for newcomers to get into the series now this game has always been graphically beautiful i love how they do the 2d and 3d rendering in it and it makes it really stand out and this one's going to be no different Fans of this one should really be happy for it, and I'm really interested in how the ending of this how the ending of this is going to conclude. I wonder if fans are going to really enjoy it. I wonder if they're going to like it. Whether they're going to hate it, I'm kind of curious on this. Guilty Gear Strive is set to release June 11th. At number eight, we have Scarlet Nexus. Set not too far into the future, humans have discovered another sensory ability. But at the same time, monstrous creatures called Udders start appearing, killing humans with their brains. You're part of a unique group of individuals that can fight back against the Udders and help save humanity. You get to play the game from two different main characters, seeing their reasoning for everything that they're doing. Now, you use the environment as your weapon because you're using, uh, using psychic abilities to attack in this game. It is graphically very beautiful and I love the style that they went with this game. I'm really looking forward to doing a review on this and seeing how it plays out. Scarlet Nexus is set to release June 25th. At number 7, we have Final Fantasy Remake Intergrade. The newest chapter of the Final Fantasy Remake brings us Yuffie and a few more beloved characters from the series. We're being able to control for some amazing combat and very nice deep story. Now this is going to continue on the story of Final Fantasy once you left the city of Midgar. And when, once you left there, then you start getting into a whole lot of new characters. If you played the game before, then you know where this is going to go. And they don't look like they're going to disappoint with the graphics and the combat on this one. Final Fantasy 7 fans along with the remaster fans should definitely have something to look forward to with this. Final Fantasy Remake Integrate is set to release June 10th. At number 6, we have Operation Tango. It's up to you and a friend to help save the world from an evil organization. You can take on the role of either a hacker or a spy, but only being able to communicate with each other via a microphone to complete puzzles and get out of hairy situations. Now this is a perfect game for someone that likes to play with a friend and the graphics are looking very nice and colorful with this. I like the concept and the idea that you can only communicate with each other with just a microphone. Using games like this you're able to see the other person do what they're doing or you guys are playing split screen but only being able to communicate via a microphone would be very interesting. And this game supposedly when you get it both people don't have to have the game. As long as one person has the game, they can send a friend request to another person to play the game with. So I thought that was pretty cool to, to find out. Operation Tango is set to release June 1st. And number five, 
Ratchet and Clank Riff Apart. The newest entry for a cult classic is here with a new story to enjoy. You have to help Ratchet and Clank from stopping an evil robot from taking over different dimensions, but this time you'll have some help. Now this classic platformer slash shoot em up slash beat em up is back looking very nice graphically for the next gen consoles. Now if you're a fan of this series then you should definitely be looking forward to this. This was a great platformer game com back, in the, back in the early PlayStation era and it really catapulted PlayStation to where it is. So it's nice to see games in this series still coming out and still keeping to that fundamental that people loved about it. Ratchet and Clank Riff Apart is set to release June 11th. And number four, we have Sunblaze. In this challenging indie game, you play as Sunblaze, the daughter of a retired superhero, using his training room to practice when things go wrong. Now you have to solve puzzles, avoid traps, and survive in this ever changing training room. The pistol look is perfect for this game with a mix of platforming, puzzle solving, and right timing. This game should be a real challenge for speedrunners. Sunblaze is set to release June 3rd. At number 3 we have Anti-Prism. In this interesting unique VR game you control two ships at the same time for twin stick fighting as you, as you control two pilots going through a part of space called the Gong trying to survive endless waves of enemies, monsters, space pirates trying to take you down before you can get to the end. Now you use credits and upgrades to upgrade your ship so you guys can make it through safely. This is a like I said a very interesting take on VR using twin stick shooting so you're actually using the controllers that you come with VR you can't use a controller pad you can't use mouse and keyboard which makes it very very interesting. It's going to have a campaign mode with side missions and an endless survivor mode so this is definitely on my radar. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on this and doing a review. Anti-Prism is set to release June 21st. At number two we have Open Country. A game for outdoor lovers, you will have three different areas to hunt for big game. Now you'll be able to craft, use equipment, have a hunting dog, go fishing, and have some storyline quests to complete. This game looks promising and intrigues a lot of outdoorsmen, outdoors women, outdoors people, people that love outdoors period, to get into it. It looks very interesting. I like the dynamic of it. The actual hunting. You actually got to find tracks, find trails, and just try versions. Sometimes you got to take an ATV to get where you're going. But this game looks promising. Open Country is set to release June 3rd. And at number one, we have Stonefly. In this beautiful adventure setting game, you have to track down a family heirloom as you discover about yourself while fighting off bugs learning how to fly and exploring this beautiful graphical world. With a good mix of platforming and a deep story along with some combat here and there, this game looks very promising. Stonefly is set to release June 1st. And that's just some of the games we got coming out in June. Like as usual, I can't list all the games that are coming out and I always try to do games that are brand new first coming out. Cause you know sometimes we have remakes, remasters, and there's nothing wrong with those, but I like to let you guys know the new games that are coming out. They're brand fresh new. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. If any of these games caught your eyes, if there's some games coming out this month I didn't mention, let me know. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that, make sure to hit that button. I talk about stuff going on in the gaming and tech world. I do reviews on some of the latest games and tech that's out. I do top 10 new games coming out every month and so much more. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and other social media pages so you can keep up to date with what's going on or if you want to reach out to me. I love talking about gaming, so don't be afraid to hit me up. You can catch me streaming on Twitch. I'm playing indie, PC, console games, and VR games now. So hit me up while I'm playing. I don't mind chatting, and I love having conversations while I'm gaming with people. But this is Proto, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.